So you're being strangely cryptic as you wrap your magic hair around my injured hand. Ah! Sorry. Just don't... Don't freak out. in your hair and magical qualities that it possesses. How long has it been doing that exactly? Uh, forever, I guess. Mother says when I was a baby, people tried to cut it. They wanted to take it for themselves. But once it's cut, it turns brown and loses its power. A gift like that has to be protected. And that's why Mother never let me... That's why I never left the... You never left that tower. And you're still gonna go back? No. Yes. Um, it's complicated. <sighs> so, Eugene Fitzherbert, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I'll spare you the sob story of poor orphan Eugene Fitzherbert. A little bit of a... That's a little bit of a downer. There was this book. A book I used to read every night to all the younger kids. The Tales of Flynn and Ryder. Swashbuckling rogue. Richest man alone. Not bad with the lady, too. Not that he would brag about it, of course. Hmm. Was he a thief, too? Uh, well, no, actually. He had enough money to... to Anything that he wanted to do. He could go anywhere that he wanted to go. And 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 for a kid with nothing. I don't know, I this, this seemed like a better option. Hmm. You can't tell anyone about this, uh, okay? It would ruin my whole reputation. Ah, he wouldn't well, want that. Fake reputation. All a man has. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> well, uh, I should uh, I should uh, I should uh, I should go get some some, some more firewood. <laughs> hey, for the record, I like Eugene Fitzherbert much better than Flynn Rider. Well, you'd be the first. Thank you. 